In RealFlow 2013, we have introduced Maxwell Renter's Preview Engine Fire, so you can create amazing previews without leaving RealFlow. All objects in RealFlow 2013 have their own Maxwell tab, which enables you to change the object's properties and set materials, etc. Maxwell Render Fire updates immediately as you change the properties, or if you change elements of the scene. Maxwell Render Preview works with all types of objects inside RealFlow 2013, including geometry, hybrid particles, secondary emitters, SPH, meshes, etc. Allowing for a fast update of the Maxwell Render Preview window so you get the correct preview of the scene. The Maxwell Render properties allow us to change the light in our scene, adjust the quality, to create faster previews or choose between draft or production engines. The production engine will give us a quick view of how the scene will look in production, allowing us to see caustics working with transparent materials. All of this is available inside RealFlow 2013 and it is not necessary to have a Maxwell Render license to make the most of these previews. From the Maxwell tab, available with every object, you can decide if the object will be visible or not in the preview. It has a huge number of preset materials which can be used and changed live thanks to the Maxwell Interactive Preview. You even have the ability to import your own materials or download them from the Maxwell Material Gallery. You can zoom in or out of the scene smoothly in the Maxwell Interactive Viewport. Maxwell Previews also works with Hybrido. The particles will be shown as small spheres and you can define their radius in the Parameters tab. You can create faster previews with many particles. and move the Maxwell Fire window around quickly regardless of the amount of particles in the viewport. Maxwell Fire can also render many polygons at the same time, so when working with meshes, you can create amazing previews quickly and update the materials in real time. Reflections and refractions of the render will also be shown in the Maxwell Preview window. Secondary elements like splash and foam can also be previewed using Maxwell, showing the particles inside the preview window with a default node colour and create faster previews. Once the scene is simulated and ready to preview, using the playback menu, we will open the Maxwell preview inside the GUI. Don't forget, you can also send the Maxwell preview to the command line by clicking on Send Maxwell preview to the command line button on the toolbar. It will be necessary to have a camera in the scene for it to work. The command line will then start. In RealFlow 2013, you can also send the Maxwell Preview to the Job Manager by selecting the correct plugin in the RealFlow Preferences. And selecting the option to send the preview to the Job Manager from the Playback menu, or by using the Send Preview to Job Manager button. And here we can see our Maxwell Render Preview.